Hey, what's up? This is DTJ, and don't forget to like, subscribe, and shop on my channel. Today, I want to go over 10 dishes that you absolutely must try while in Japan and where to find them. I've been in Japan for a long time, and with my American palate, I like to think I have a pretty good idea of what most foreigners will and will not like. I'm going to cover foods that I enjoy personally and that have never let me down in the many years that I have been in Japan. I personally recommend these to family members and friends, and so I will recommend them to you too. No tourist traps, no bland, flavorless food, no fads, just good, honest dishes at well-established restaurants in Japan. And these are ranked in order from must-try to you absolutely must eat before you get on a flight back home. You might have these dishes in your country, but in Japan they hit way different and should definitely be consumed post haste. Without further ado, let's start the countdown. At number 10 is fried shrimp tendons in your tempura dish. Tempura is a dish in Japan in which vegetables like pumpkins and eggplant and seafood like shrimp and others are fried in a special batter and served with rice. The thing that really sets the dish off is the sauce all over your fried shrimp and rice. It really makes the meal pop. It's always good, never a letdown, and it's authentic Japanese food. I would recommend the restaurant Tenya to eat one of these dishes. Lots of locations. The next one shouldn't come as a surprise, but it's Yakiniku. But I must tell you this, all Yakiniku is not created equal, okay? There are places in Japan where you will be paying more for lower quality meat. Locals know it, I know it too, but do you know this? Well, there are many out there, but if I absolutely had to pick the best spot I've ever eaten yakiniku at in Japan, and is always consistent and great quality for the money, it would have to be Kalbiya in Yokosuka City. The meat is always top notch, the meals are good, and the beers are cold. I would recommend the harami set for lunch, and pretty much anything for dinner. It's a win when you eat there. Again, I have eaten at hundreds of yakiniku spots all over Japan, and Kalbiya is still the top for me. Number 8. Gyudon or Beef Bowl A delicious combination of boiled meat on top of rice. Mm. <laughs> Sounds simple, and it really is, but the Japanese have mastered it, and so it has a sweet taste to it, even before adding your sauces to it. There are a few Gyudon chains in Japan, but I would have to recommend the cheese gyudon dish at Tsukiya restaurant as a must try gyudon. Tsukiya goes away from the traditional and super simple gyudon and makes it more fun, unlike its competitor adding cheese, garlic, and other toppings to the dishes. Number 7 Okonomiyaki. Okonomiyaki is a delicious dish that originated in Osaka, much like takoyaki. It's a batter of vegetables, meat, and sometimes cheese that you can fry on a pan. It's kind of like a pancake full of whatever you choose to fill it up with. You can chop it in half or quarters and share it with your friend or loved one. And it's usually paired with beers. <laughs> Number six, if you have a tongue that can tolerate heat, and I mean actual heat and not spiciness, I would recommend eating authentic takoyaki at Gendako. I'm starting to see more and more stores around Japan and not just stands. They've come a long way. They have fat chunks of octopus in the fried dough with mayo and other toppings on top. Wash it down with a soda too. I picked Gendako because you can really get sick eating this dish if you get it at like a festival or somewhere else. So be careful because that's happened to me. <laughs> I never got sick eating from Gendako though and that's why I recommend coming here if you want to try this delicious dish. Number 5 Yakitori. Yakitori is a various grilled chicken parts on a skewers covered in sweet sauce. You'll find these at stands close to a station and sometimes they have actual restaurants. It's hard to mess this up so any place that you can find that serves this is a short win. I wouldn't recommend buying these at the supermarket though when they're already grilled and packaged. It doesn't taste as good. It's better to just get it fresh off the grill. Easy to find these spots wherever you are just follow your nose and they usually aren't open until after 5 p.m. for dinner. Number 4 Crab Pasta When you come to Japan, chances are you aren't thinking about eating pasta, but you probably should. There is a crab pasta dish that I have been eating for over 20 years and it never disappoints. There are other restaurants in Japan with crab pasta, but they fail to have the right mixture of crab, tomato sauce, and garlic all mixed together. So if that sounds like something you would enjoy, I'd go over to Capricosa and grab a plate of that before I get on a plane back home. As a matter of fact, order a double size of that bad boy. 
Number three, of course, no list of dishes to eat in Japan is complete without adding ramen to the list. That's a no-brainer, right? But because ramen is, is in such high demand for tourists, there are many shops out there that are there just to take your money, banking on the fact that you will likely just be happy enough to be in Japan and eating ramen to get your selfie than to actually know what is good and not good ramen. In fact, a lot of them just flat out suck, I'll be honest. So I would just tell you where locals eat and which places are actually good so you don't get disappointed. Kegetsu Arashi and Karakia at the moment are my top two ramen chains in Japan. Any dish at either of these places is good. Gyoza no Osho is a close third, but their other dishes, including gyoza, are better than their actual ramen. I have their videos on my channel, so feel free to visit the restaurant playlist to see what they look like and get more information if you want. You won't be disappointed. Number two, sushi. You shouldn't be too surprised this is on the list. However, I can only in good faith and good confidence recommend one place to you to get genuine sushi that isn't bland, flat, dry, and readily available everywhere. I can only recommend the best to my viewers as you know, so that is why I recommend Hamazushi to get your sushi fix. They won't let you down, they never let me down, and for sure I honestly think they have the best sushi in Japan. I've looked high and I've looked low and I haven't found any place on their scale that doesn't compromise quality. Number one, last but certainly not least, is the place to get a hearty meal in Japan with varying spice levels. It's Koko Ichiban Curry. This is a must eat for anyone visiting Japan. You have your choice of chicken, pork, beef, shrimp, and they actually have vegetable curry too. And you have your choice of many toppings with a spice level varying from what, zero to 10? You can even choose how much rice you want. Japanese rice is the best, but when it's paired with a delicious curry that you can even get to go, <laughs> well, that's the making of a fine Japanese dish that you can enjoy in the restaurant or at the hotel and, and you will be full after eating it that's for sure that's why i'm giving this the number one spot on this list if i were you i'd save space in my stomach for it though come hungry or you might not be able to finish all of it those are the dishes and the places you absolutely must try when you come to japan if you didn't know before you absolutely have the knowledge to go forward fill your bellies and enjoy your stay i'm dtj don't forget to like subscribe and shop i ship globally you know See you on the next one. DTL.